let's look at why or some of the reasons why we don't trust ourselves anymore or we we start to doubt ourselves and doubt every decision and 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 feel well I mean a lot of it's obvious right we've been put down we've been devalued you've been told that what you think is stupid you've been told that what you think is wrong you've been treated like you have no mind of your own and everything you do is supposed to be there to support other per this other person's life and not your own if you were raised by toxic parents or parent whatever you were probably taught that you're incapable of making a decision or every decision you make is wrong or every choice you make is the wrong choice and you were probably made to feel dependent upon them because see a narcissistic parent needs you to feel dependent upon them so that they can control you so that they can maintain that as the connection and without letting you be a whole human being they will criticize your decisions they will tell you how you're doing something wrong they will call you names they will make you question your mental health, make you question your physical health, make you question your choices, make you question your friends through the words that they say and their disapproval and their validation and lack of support throughout your life. So yeah, there's a lot of reasons you wouldn't trust yourself, okay? And if you were in a relationship with someone toxic, they spent their time, you know, devaluing you a lot of the time, which is super confusing since they just built you up earlier. So which is it? You, you live in a state of cognitive dissonance. When you're living in a state of cognitive dissonance, you love this person who is so darn toxic for your life that, and you know it, you know it in your head, you see the actions, you see the behaviors, you see the lack of change and the lack of accountability and the, you feel that there is no real empathy and there's no support and there's no consideration coming towards you and yet you stay. And so you continue and so you're not able to trust yourself because you haven't taken yourself out of this you know what I mean like you've been part of this of this dynamic not of your own wishes you're just trying to make a relationship work you're just trying to help things you're trying to make it better you're trying to uh, do everything you can to support it but a part of you the logical part goes but I told you <laughs> right and so you've got this conflict you got this conflict of the knowing and the emotions, the feelings, and the intuition that's going on that creates the cognitive dissonance. And when you're in a state of cognitive dissonance, how are you supposed to even trust what to have for dinner? How are you supposed to even trust, you know, making it the simplest, tiniest decisions for your life? And when you're talking about giant decisions, like afterward, so living in that cognitive dissonance a long time creates a neural pathway. It creates patterns. It creates behavioral changes. It creates habit. And when you're in the habit of that, you're in the habit of not trusting yourself. I'm here to suggest that a lot of it is that. Yes, there's conditioning. Yes, there's programming. And yes, a lot of it is habit. So this comes to the question of how do you get through this? How do you, how do you learn to trust yourself? Well, there's two things I'm thinking of this morning. One is judgment. And the other is how do you show up for yourself? And those both go together because if you're showing up for yourself as the judge and the, you know, what did they say? Judge, jury, executioner. If you're showing up for yourself as that, if you're showing up for yourself as someone who is judging your actions instead of living your life, then yeah, it's hard to make a decision because what if you're wrong? If you haven't learned that to make a wrong decision is not bad, then yeah, you're judging yourself. So a lot of this comes down to, yes, other people put, <laughs> other people put the thoughts in your head and other people put the conditioning on you. And again, like I was saying yesterday, other, the, the situations in life have been conditioning. They have been programming of your mind and how you think and feel we're all susceptible to this. There's nothing wrong with you. It's not, that's not why it happens. It happens because this is how humans are. This is why manipulation works. This is why advertising works. This is why suggestibility happens. You know, this is normal for humans. So if you can learn to show up for yourself, then you can make an actual choice about what you truly want and be able to operate from that place. Does that make sense? So how do you get there? How do you, that sounds great. Sure. I'll, I'll just show up for myself. 
and I won't judge anymore. <laughs> right. But so how do you, um, how do you do it? 